All right, guys, before I sweep, I wanted to show something I made here. Sort of redneck, but um, I put the chute on, and I angled a piece of cardboard to make it better. Um, but it's just my wind rower. As you can see, this grass got away from me, but the sweeper's not super wide, so to sweep the whole yard, you know, I'd have to go down six acres probably, I don't know, a lot of times. So by doing this, it leaves all this grass and these little lines. That way I only have to drive the sweeper up and down the yard minimal times instead of going up and down it hundreds of times. So figured I'd share that little trick I'm trying to use here and uh, show you this in action. Getting ready to get started here. Just wanted to show how my wind rows worked. Uh, the lighting probably isn't going to show really how thick it is, but we can get down here. Um, get in the sun here. You can see there's quite a bit of grass. It worked out perfect how it wind rowed. Um, six acres I cut. It's worse in some spots than others. As you can see there, it's really bad. But uh, there's definitely a lot of grass to sweep up, and I hate to leave it sit there, especially when it gets out of hand like it did. I haven't mowed in like two weeks. It's rained and rained and rained. It finally quit a few days ago, and it dried up enough so I could get in here. So I got the tractor hooked up uh, using an old Cub Cadet, a little easier on fuel, and needed to get out and use it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and start sweeping. And I'll show what time I started also to show uh, I got the sweeper all hooked up. I'm um, ready to go. Uh, I just looked at my phone. It's 3.08. So I'll keep you posted on how long it takes to completely fill it if I can. And then uh, how long it takes. Alright. Uh, property's a little over thousand foot or more so this is over 3,000 foot I filled it up enough that I don't want to damage it I probably could have made one more pass it took me 15 minutes and surprisingly I can't go real fast with this tractor I might have to switch back over to the Steiner for the fact that I don't know how much weights in this but my second gear is all I can go in that and I pulled a lot of stuff with that 108 and then uh these Cub gear drives are, are nothing to laugh about. I mean, they're they're pullers, but it's really dogging that thing. So I'm not sure how much it weighs, but that's a hell of a lot of grass, though. I'll tell you that. All right, there's my first load. Um, man, I don't know how much grass that is, but that's a lot of grass. Um, to use a conventional sweeper. Wow, I don't, I don't know how long it would take you. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of hoppers with a conventional, and I couldn't imagine having to rake that much. So I'm gonna keep going here, and in the heavy spots I got, I'm gonna set up the tripod, give you guys some different views on it. Really picking up some heavy grass, and at the end, I'll show you how much. Right, I had to stop to eat some dinner, but I did everything. But what you see here, I left this here to do a quick. Uh, video so I didn't have to keep going back and I can go back and forth with shorter passes rather than the whole yard just so you guys can see and this is a lot of the deep stuff um, <coughs> about an hour and 40 minutes three hoppers so far I'm on my fourth one now and the reason it took me longer is because as stupid as this sounds but I'm going to explain it I wanted to go with my stripes and then come back that way uh it, it left the lawn look good when I'm done. It didn't leave a bunch of tire marks and and look bad. So, I don't know, I'm a little more particular. Sounds stupid, but I figured I wanted it to look nice. So, I'm going to throw this on the tripod, go back and forth here, and uh, 
see what happens. Uh, the one time I ran into some big, big, deep stuff like this, um, it threw so much of it into the sweeper up into here. It did. I was I was going third gear, so I was clipping pretty good. And when it hit, it must have been just so much grass so quick. It did slide the wheel, and I just had to back up and <clears throat> hit it back and forth a couple times, and it loosened itself up. But one time's it. That's all I jammed it, and as you can see, it's a little over three quarters way full. And the first hopper that I showed you guys, I didn't really push it. The last two were packed pretty good, but there was still more room. But like I said, I'm not trying to break it. I'm just trying to see what it will do. So let me throw this on here and then fire the tractor up and let you see if I can fill it up with the rest. Right, there was a couple times there I had to go over a few of them a couple different times because it just was too thick but it's it's packed pretty good um, I don't know if you guys can see that real well with the camera but you can't even it's a pretty good block in there now so it's almost to, I'd say full capacity let's run over there and uh, see how much is in it all right, here's so far. That's just three, three of these hoppers, and I mean that's one big, big chunk. Um, this stuff is just—it's amazing how hard this thing just keeps compacting this in here. And you would think that you wouldn't think that it holds that much until you start pulling the tractor away and uh, keep emptying it out here. I mean it just it never ends. The first couple times I kept pulling the grass out of here.
So there it is, uh, six acres. Pretty heavy in some spots, not so heavy in others, but that's still a lot of grass. And it only took four of these hoppers, so you could put about an acre and a half of grass in this sweeper or more. So I'd say that's pretty impressive. Just wanted to, saw I had a chance to use it, show you guys exactly how much it could hold now. And uh, hopefully here this fall, I didn't get a chance to last year, I'll do the leaves.